Hey traders, Ragi here. And in this free recap video, we're going to talk about risk, controlling risk on a trade. And, you know, a mindset that I really want to continue to really develop here with you all in these videos. And that's the exit mindset, not the entry mindset. Because I think a lot of folks just, they become entry crazy. They become entry focused. And really you don't know what your best entry should or even can be until you understand the exit. So it's really exits and entries, having an exit mindset. So let's talk about this today. And so first of all, I'm gonna preface this video by saying today so far has been a, a negative day for me, right? This is not one of these days where I'm coming at you saying, all right, we bought the dip as we always do. We took advantage of projected moves and corrections and the market's making new all time highs. Nope. Now by percentage, and, and this, is, this is definitely backed up by trades and the alerts in the room, by percentage, buying the calculated, the measured corrections and projected lows continues to be a winning formula, period. And a day like this is not going to uh, take me off that track. And so that brings up another concept. If number one is the exit mindset, number two is, this is really important, stick with what works. You know, if you have confidence in something that works, and I know what I've been doing, sticking with it, sticking with it, uh, stick with what works is really important because for a lot of traders, especially new traders, when they have a losing day or the trade stops out or it doesn't do what they normally have expected it to do, you know, support at different levels, support at clearing range lows, support in the wave. When the market doesn't do that, the first thing they do, rather than saying, hey, the market just behaved in a different way and I'll just deploy the same strategy tomorrow, what they do is immediately assume the market, that the strategy is broken, that the market no longer does what they think it's going to do. When in reality, you know, I had a member in the, in the chat room to say, I don't re recall you actually shorting much over the past five months. And that's true. You know, you look at, I think it's more like three, but I like the idea, which is they know I've picked the direction. They know there's been a, a path of least resistance. And that's what even on a day trade, what I will focus on and continue to do. Okay. So let's talk about risk. Now, this idea of having a risk-based mindset means that you know where your stops are before you get in. And that's really important because if you don't know where your different stops are before you get in, there's no possible way you know if an entry is right for you. That's really important. And I think for a lot of traders, they think every entry presents the same risk and that's just not true. So if you get in on a breach trade, which is something we did today, we were also looking for the pullback trade, which I think we missed by a quarter, by a darn quarter point. And what a difference that would have made for traders who don't want to take the breach because it presents too much risk. This would have been, and this was down at, uh, I'm trying to remember what our uh, alert was. And I'm actually going to tell you right now because this does matter. Uh, the alert that I sent out was looking for a 57, I believe a 57 and a quarter entry. Is that it? No, sorry, not 57. It was, let me double check here. That was the one on the NQ that we missed by a quarter point. This one we missed by one and a quarter point because it was a 63. 63 was the level I was looking for on this one. I think we missed that by one and a quarter points. The NASDAQ pullback we missed by a quarter point. So for most traders who are thinking with the exit mindset and minimal risk, when that pullback trade does not trigger, you don't have an entry. When the pullback trade doesn't trigger, you don't have an entry because the riskiest trade that we'll take on any day is going to be the breach play. It is the momentum trade. It doesn't mean that the strategy is, is flawed. It just means the risk is the greatest. Either it's usually going to be about approximately a half back exit or 10% of the price movement range for that hour below the, below the clearing range low, below the clearing range low. So these are things that you have to remember. If you don't know the exit strategy or strategies for a trade before the entry, you can't take the trade because you don't have the exits mindset. Now for my premium members, we have a deep dive on exits as they apply to the opening range strategies. We have four of them that we use. 
and that and you can check that out in the in the premium video how we decide which they are and and the number of them that we have and then how that dictates what your best entry is going to be so again in the free video here in the recap video for for those of you that are joining me and thanks again for for watching these videos day after day and i really hope they're adding something to your trading new questions to ask new tactics to try and in this case a new mindset to adopt exits first then entries i'll see you in the next update